the fourth thing that I want to share about about regarding the inheritance of our children is coping with the uncertainties of life. Life throws many things to us. I'm reminded of the time. Also, I would refer to myself because I'm kind of like the one I would know better. When I was growing up, um, I wasn't prepared to lose my parents at an early age. I also wasn't prepared to, to move from the village to town. I wasn't prepared. I didn't know what to expect and what not to expect. But because I, I, I was sitting, as I say, with my grandmother most of the time, she would tell me of how she was raised up. She would tell me how she got married, how she was striving in life, what things she wanted. And she would ask me, what do I want in life? What are the things I expect and what are the things I want to do and to achieve? And that reminded me as I'm old like this of Titus 2 verse 3 to 5 it speaks of older women teaching younger women my children I actually my my students I need to teach them about life it speaks of how these older me, women teach the younger women of what is good I need to teach my children of what is good and I need to teach them what is love I need to teach them self-control and purity. I need to teach them that they need to be busy in life to do something of the future. I need to teach them to be kind. I need to teach them to be subjected to the Lord. And with that, it means as I'm teaching them, I'm exemplary because I'm walking every day of my life doing that. And at a young age, I was taught to be resilient to other things. I don't know how my grandma did it, but I appreciate because when she passed away, I did not prepare myself for any death. I'm sure no one prepares to lose anyone instantly. And at least when they are sick, maybe, I don't know, you would uh, console yourself that, well, they will have been sick, at least they are rested. But when it's just automatic like that instantly you, you kind of like get a shock and because we, they ran uh, we had a farm ongoing the given automatic response is that as she passed away she would leave an inheritance for me but what happens in our culture the relatives come and they split between themselves the monies the properties and all those things and sometimes children are forgotten and it still happens even today. But if we don't teach our children that working hard is a good thing, labor, that's what Proverbs talk about. Proverbs actually speaks of much more of us working very hard and that the labor of our hands should be the one that feeds our stomach. And my grandma used to tell me that she used to say, if you don't work, no food. And she'll make sure that that is a serious discipline. And I knew that I have to work very hard to eat something and I knew that I have to choose my friend be selective of what I do to value my time and that paid off because in my old age not really my old age but as I grew older to where I am now I look back and I see those values that were instilled in me at a young age they are actually working for my good so let's teach our children and let's train them to expect uncertainties in life. There are things that we don't plan about, but they happen in life, and they need to be able to cope with them in the Lord. And as they do that, they grow to maturity and to be children who teaches other children also about life values. Amen.